the estate of uh, the late uh, Simon Nyachai came up in court today for purpose of uh, having the originating salmon application in which one of the widows who was left out, the U.S. family that was let, left out, was uh, meant to be heard today so that they can be given provision and that they can be recognized as part of the family. Now, due to the pressing nature of our time, the court has been busy all day. The same has not, uh, has not uh, taken off. We were keen and we besieged court to uh, accommodate us and give us the earliest date and uh, on account that the court was uh, proceeding for leave tomorrow, it gave us the first day, that is the 25th, when it shall be resuming. Now, uh, equally while in court we saw the estate, the lawyers representing the estate, the entire estate that has excluded our client, trying to uh, gag or uh, apply to have the media gag from uh, following these proceedings, and uh, that was, uh, that was uh, not here or there, and the same was, uh, was uh, the, the, the court uh, refused to pronounce itself on that because the media houses and owners have not been uh, enjoined such that they were going to be uh, condemned and heard. Equally, our, client, uh, our clans, the four clans, that's uh, Margaret, Rodney, John Powell, and the sister, all they want is justice, and uh, the ABLE team led by Mr. Omari is uh, really pushing hard to have uh, Margaret's uh, case hard. She'll have a day in court on the, on the 25th of uh, July when it will, uh, the world will get to know the manner in which the U.S. family has suffered in the past, has been uh, secluded from and excluded from the from benefiting from the, fam from the entire family. These are matters that the court has prioritized and uh, that uh, it's going to deal with first before another issue. The, we understand there are other fights in the matter, but this is the matter that has been given priority. We wait and see how the battle proceeds on the 25th. Hi, by the name Rodney flew in from from abroad to come and appear in court. He's present with us. And on that day when the matter will be there, we will bring the widow and all the siblings, those are the children of the late Simon Yachai, to testify. This will be a landmark case on the rights of widows especially widows who are outside of this country. The diaspora widows have always been discriminated, have always not gotten voice, and we believe that it, through this matter we'll achieve that. Of great importance is the attempt to gag the media, the attempt to stop the public knowing exactly what is being transpired. We appreciate that the learned judge declined the order to stop the media from broadcasting and telling the public. Remember Simon Nyechai, the light, was a PC. He was a, a chief secretary. He was a cabinet minister. He was a, pol a presidential candidate and a serious leader National, the public have a right to know who are his children and who are his widows. And we vehemently opposed an attempt to gag the media and we completely told the, the estate that the judge, learned judge, cannot be swayed by the sentiments on the social media. Article 35 of the Constitution provides for and Article 34, the right to information, the public have a right to that information. So we'll stand firm. We will ensure that justice for this son, who was chased out of the funeral of his father, he will have the decency 
now to appear and commemorate his father with his family, with the honor that they deserve. And they'll be entitled to the vast estate by, that his father got.